Hello, in this video we will demonstrate how to communicate uh, between uh, independent uh, parts of the system, uh, sending structured message, creating the message with the data, adding the data to the message, sending it through the interface and receiving it. So here we have as example intersection with the emergency service and traffic lights controller. The traffic lights controller uh, can be in one of the few states uh, an emergency service can authenticate and connect to that traffic lights controller and override the state. Here is the message uh, which we will construct. It could be any kind of message, but here we see message. Message has a data. Again, could have multiple parts and data has the properties like a command state, which would be green, yellow, red blinking or red. Then we have connections, so emergency service connects to traffic light controller. Then the traffic light controller by default is disconnected. And as you can see here, I can assign the uh, images to states like here in uh, expert mode. Uh, I can choose the image uh, and then connect it. Uh, so it will become not authenticated. Uh, then authentication, then by default will be red blinking, then when property changes to red, it will get red and yellow, when it will get um, a command green, it will switch to green, when yellow, yellow, and then back to red. It can't switch from red to yellow. As you can see here, it has some path based on the state machine. And if it disconnected, it goes to the disconnected state. Now here what we see it is the uh, behavior of the emergency service which uh, can send connect signal, the signal will be sent, it can send a notification signal, the signal will be sent and then it can send command green, yellow or red and the message with the right data will be created and sent through the interface you see here. So the message as you can see set value, set command, message data, dot command state, red, yellow is constructed and uh, sent through the interface here and then received and here when we receive by the uh, controller when we are here in this state we can deconstruct that message because in those states we just get the right uh, signal like disconnect, con authenticate and here in this location we actually have this uh, behavior which this takes the active signal reads the coming object uh, takes that coming object reads the property of the object as a message data and uh, takes that object as a message data here as you can see here and reads the command state value so in that way we can uh, read anything from the structured data and add it to the property now we'll execute this uh, as you can see here will be the communication, run it. And here I have UI, small UI to control the SVI emergency service provider. And we can now connect, as you can see, connect signal is sent. We switch to the non notified state, gated state, then we are red blinking state. And then we try to switch to green. We see that it's no no way we can do it. You know, signal is ignored by the state machine. Then red. Okay, now we will switch to the red. Then yellow, again ignored. Green. Switch to green, and then yellow. And then uh, if we disconnect, so we switch here to disconnect state. Also, we can uh, record all this. Uh, and also, as you can see here, we have this structured message here, yellow. And then when we received it, we see uh, here it is yellow. If we will switch to the connect. Uh, pin and then authenticate. We can override the last state, uh, red blinking. Uh, for now, but now we will send the message uh, green, okay, not listening to red, and we switch to red, then back to yellow, 
and back to green. Uh, and we see that based on this model, we have the problem that if we disconnect the last state, uh, we stay uh, based on the uh, state uh, and the message received. So we need on exit the state, on disconnect to update the command state. And we can do it uh, by uh, selecting in containment tree, copy, and uh, we want to set to the red blinking state. So let's go here. In this state, uh, we can get go to the uh, on exit, choose opaque behavior, specify body and language, equal red line blinking. And as it is on enumeration, so if we did uh, blinking, if we did any mistake, it will not be assigned. So we can try actually and see how that works. Disconnect. It does not execute. Maybe actually a good idea to, to exit simulation, restart it and switch back to the connect, authenticate and then now we have uh, red blinking as the default, switch to red. And now disconnect uh, and we get red blinking. So it works as expected. Uh, very good. And uh, the last thing what we can do here is actually here we can see how that uh, uh, all the simulation is recorded and uh, is that correct uh, sequence because in the sequence diagram we will just get recorded uh, right state changes based on state machine so we can connect okay this is not authentified authenticated authenticate red blinking then green is ignored as a state state will not change red okay red then green correct yellow correct and disconnect disconnected uh, and the state as we can see didn't change to the red blinking but the property did so we could see that it maybe it is half okay and we need to fix another problem here with this state machine because we can't uh, really property switch to the disconnected because this state machine is left as not active so we don't have here the state uh, is active which is correct uh, from that perspective but we can improve for sure the model to have uh, uh, when we are not in active control what would be the state machine so here we presented this model which demonstrates how the structured message can be constructed and sent uh, through interface and then deconstructed with any data so very lightweight model and demonstrating communication uh, with any data and uh, acting on communication with the any data. Thank you. Uh, let us know any questions.